you and President Biden have tried to address this issue, but the average cost of child care in this country has risen to more than $11,000 a year per child. For many families, the cost of child care for two children is more than their rent. In your second term, what would you do to make child care more affordable? Just to go back, the general got fired because he was no good. And if he said that, that's why he made it up. But we have 19 people that said I didn't say it, and they're very highly respected, much more so than him. The other thing is, he doesn't fire people. He never fired people. I've never seen him fire anybody. I did fire a lot. I fired Comey because he was no good. I fired a lot of the top people at the FBI, drained the swamp. They were no good. Not easy to fire people. You'd pay a price for it, but they were no good. I inherited these people. I didn't put them there. I didn't put Comey there. He was no good. I fired him. This guy hasn't fired anybody. He never fires. He should have fired every military man that was involved with that Afghan, the Afghanistan uh, horror show, the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country. He didn't fire. Did you fire anybody? Did you fire anybody that's on the border that's allowed us to have the worst border in the history of the world? Did anybody get fired for allowing 18 million people, many from prisons, many from, from mental institutions? Did you fire anybody that allowed our country to be destroyed? Joe, our country is being destroyed as you and I sit up here and waste a lot of time on this debate. This shouldn't be a debate. He is the worst president. He just said it about me because I said it. Uh, but look, He's the worst president in the history of our country. He's destroyed our country. Now, all of a sudden, he's trying to get a little tough on the border. He come out, came out with a, a, nothing, a nothing deal, and it reduced it a little bit, a little bit, like this much. It's insignificant. He wants open borders. He wants our country to either be destroyed or he wants to pick up those people as voters. And I don't think we just can't let it happen. If he wins this election, our country doesn't have a chance, not even a chance, of coming out of this rut. We probably won't have a country left anymore. That's how bad it is. He is the worst in history by far. Thank you, President Trump. President Biden? We're the most admired country in the world. We're the United States of America. There's nothing beyond our capacity. We have the finest military in the history of the world, the finest in the history of the world. No one thinks we're weak. No one wants to screw around with us. Nobody. Number one. Number two, the idea that we're talking about worse presidents. I wasn't joking. Look it up or go online. 159 or 58, don't hold me the exact number, uh, presidential historians, they've had meetings and they voted who was the worst president in American history, one through best to worst. They said he was the worst in all of American history. That's a fact. That's not, a, that's not conjecture. He can argue they're wrong, but that's what they voted. The idea that he is knowing doing anything to deal with child care, he did very for virtually nothing to child care. We should significantly increase the child care tax credit. We should significantly increase the availability of women and men or single parents to be able to go back to work. And we should encourage businesses to hold to have Thank you, President Biden. Facilities. President Trump, the question was about what would you do to make child care more affordable, if you want to take your minute. Uh, just so you understand, we have polling, we have other things that do, they rate him the worst because what he's done is so bad. Show and they rate me, I'll show you, I will show you, and they rate me one of the best, okay? And if I'm given another four years, I will be the best. I think I'll be the best. Nobody's ever created an economy like us. Nobody ever cut taxes like us. He's the only one I know. He wants to raise your taxes by four times. He wants to raise everybody's taxes by four times. He wants the Trump tax cuts to expire. So everybody, including the two of you, are going to pay four to five times. Nobody ever heard of this before. All my life, I'd grow up and I'd see politicians talking about cutting taxes. When we cut taxes, as I said, we did more business. Apple and all these companies, they were bringing money back into our country. The worst president in history by far, and everybody knows it. President Biden? Look, the fact of the matter is that he's dead wrong about he's increased the tariff. He's increased. He will increase the uh, taxes on middle class people. I said I'd never raise the tax on anybody making less than four hundred thousand dollars. I didn't. But this tariff is 10 percent tariffs. Everything coming in the country. You know what the economists say? That's going to cost the average American two thousand five hundred dollars a year more because they're going to have to pay the difference in food and all the things that were imported. Number two, he's in a situation where he talks about how he has not raised 
he, he, he somehow helped the middle class. The middle class has been devastated by you. Now you want a new tax cut of $5 trillion over the next 10 years, which is going to fundamentally bankrupt the country. You had the largest deficit of any president in American history, number one. Number two, you have not, in fact, made any contact, any, any, any progress with China. We are the lowest trade deficit with China since 2010. Thank you, you President Biden. You lost Thank you, President Biden. Let's, let's discuss an epidemic impacting millions of Americans that both of you 